Oh, good morning, everybody. Wow, that was a lot more enthusiastic than I thought I could do. Um, welcome to this video where I'm gonna show you guys my daily routine. I'm a full-time YouTuber, so uh, all the schedule, everything throughout my day is basically very flexible. Um, but I have so much work that I need to get done every day, so that's how I kind of decide um, how my day is gonna go. And a lot of you out there, you guys probably are thinking it's so awesome being a full-time YouTuber. It's so cool. You guys get to work when you want. You get to travel. That's only partially true. We do get to work when we want, but here's the thing. We have to do a lot of work. So normally when I was at my old job, um, I used to work for a TV network. And uh, you would get off at around 6 and you're done. You don't have to worry about any more work till the next day. Or if it's, a, if it's a holiday, 4th of July, Christmas, whatever. You, you stay home, you enjoy your holidays. You take a vacation, uh, a week, a month, whatever. That's your vacation. You don't need to worry about anything else. But being a full-time YouTuber, um, you got to you gotta work all the time. Uh, especially because I have, what, six channels? So I have to film videos and make videos all the time. That means when I go on vacation, I travel anywhere, I, I'm always filming, I'm always filming, I'm always editing, uh, that's just that's just the job. So if you aspire to be a full-time YouTuber, I'll tell you this right now. Don't try to start out being a full-time YouTuber. Do it on the side and if it takes off, if it's great, then yeah, then by all means do it. But you shouldn't just come in thinking that, hey, you know what? I'm not gonna go to school. I'm just gonna be a YouTuber because they're awesome. They get to, it's not as glamorous as it sounds. So today I'm gonna show you guys what my day consists of. This is a typical day. Today is what? Today is uh, Tuesday. And so this is a typical work day. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is all kind of the same to me. I do basically the same thing every single day. Uh, yeah, I work on weekends. And yeah, I work till like night. I did a video before where I showed you guys my gym in Manhattan where I used to work out over there. That kind of changed because I'm moving to San Francisco in about a month, a little over a month. So I had to give up that gym um, because I live in Queens and it's really inconvenient for me to go there every day because I have so much work to catch up on here. So I'm saving two hours a day by staying here. I'm not driving all the way to Manhattan anymore. So my new gym is in Queens. And I'm gonna take you guys there after we eat breakfast. They did not sponsor me. I don't particularly love Chobani. I just, you know, yogurt, it's easy. 1.5% milk, all right. I like these flip things, you know? These like flip yogurt. See, this is like wasteful. I mean, I, I hear in Japan, they invented some kind of like yogurt lid that the yogurt just doesn't stick on. But not here, we love to waste yogurt. I'm not wasting yogurt. I'm gonna scrape this thing. Whoa, you know what? Look, look how much yogurt is on that lid. Almost half a spoonful of yogurt. I feel like this is the Asian side of me kicking in. Dude, you can't waste yogurt. I'm about to lick this. No, I'm just kidding. That's, that's too far. You can't do that. I always add some honey um, to my yogurt. When I say add some, I mean add a lot. I don't care. Don't judge. I don't, I don't even care. It's, it's not sweet enough. It's just, it's never sweet enough. Don't get your hopes up like the last time where it's gonna be an awesome gym. It's not. This is Queens people. We have rarely anything awesome here except for good food. This flip yogurt, this is not easy to flip. This is more like bend the plastic in half. This takes some effort. What if I was feeling particularly weak one morning? I don't wanna have to use a lot of strength to bend the yogurt lid. I woke up and it was 27 degrees outside. It's winter, but this is this is April. Why is it this cold? Welcome to the realities of New York. Even if you live in Queens or Brooklyn or wherever, traffic is basically always bad. That's City Field, the home of the Mets, and we are officially in Flushing. So we're on Northern Boulevard right now, and if you keep driving up um, on Northern Boulevard from Main Street, you go from a predominantly Chinese section to a predominantly Korean section. There it is, my gym in Korean Village. Hey, let me give you guys a tour. 
Well, that's about it. Well, it's a lot different than my last gym, but it does the job. That's Arthur Ashe Stadium. The US Open is also in Flushing. You guys remember the movie Men in Black? Remember those flying saucers at the end? Yeah, those are it. I'm back home and the first thing we need to do today is film a lot of Double Chin News videos. Double Chin News is a new news channel that I started with Dan, who is not here. You know, it's gonna pass some time. I really like this. I got this in Paris. I like it because it's raining and I like rain. So whenever it's sunny outside, I'm kind of weird. I love it when I'm indoors and it's raining. So whenever it's sunny outside, I just, you know, stare at this, although it's pretty small. I wish I can get like a window size and put it on my window. So when I look outside, this is what I see. You're late, man. Our set is ready. This is the set we use for multiple shows. Dan's prepped. Check, one, two. <clears throat> All right, first one is a uh, guy kissing police officer. What's up guys, it's Mike. It's Dan. It's Double Chin News. We just finished our news shoots. We usually try to edit somewhere where, you know, it's a little less boring than <laughs> just my living room. Uh, yeah, guys. So we're gonna go take you there, show you around. Oh, your living room's cool. I mean, you know. There's no, there's no food. This is why I come to Mike's house prepared. Snacks. That's not really food. This is not. It's, uh, it's, it's um, it's necessary when you're sitting there and you go, bro. Do you have anything I can munch on? He goes, nah. And then you're like, no, right. I don't keep snacks in my house because I don't snack. No. But yo, yo, I once, I was so hungry one time. I went in your fridge and ate a scoop of hot chili oil. Oh, that's nasty. Wait, wait. Did you double I, dip on my no, chili no, oil? No, no, no. I put a different one. I was like, yo, you know, you know when I find something like uh, that I could eat at your house, it's like, it's like a leprechaun discovering gold. You know, you know, you know what he found last time that was edible is crackers that his girlfriend gave me. Oh yeah! He actually found them because I didn't eat them because I don't snack. And I ate them all. Thanks. Guys, if you ever come to Mike's house, come prepare. Why would right? they come to my house? Well, who's this, who, who's they? This, dude, oh, this, just peeps. This, this, this is my blog. All right, we're gonna finish up here. We're gonna take you to our next location. You need a cafe that has really fast inter internet or your videos are not gonna be uploaded. Uh, you need a cafe that has enough outlets so your laptop doesn't run out of power. It's really important that you find a cafe that um, the people don't really mind you sitting there for a long time because I was actually kicked out of a cafe in, uh, in Los Angeles. I, was, I, I found a really cool cafe. Um, I was sitting at a little table and I think I stayed there a little too long for their liking so they politely asked me to move. <laughs> so when I move to San Francisco, I'll be living in the Bay Area, I think around uh, Santa Clara, uh, San Jose. Um, I'll be on the market for like a new cafe that fits all those requirements. So if you guys who are watching, you're from that area, you know, recommend me some good places to go. So we're gonna play a not so fun game of looking for a parking spot in New York City. I'll tell you guys, parking is not something I'm gonna miss about the city. I've literally, I think the longest time it ever took me to find parking, I kid you not, this is when I first got to New York City um, to find a free, free parking spot. I should have just parked in the garage. It took me about, uh, I think four to five hours. Kid you not, six in the morning, till 10 30 in the morning that's how long it took me to find a parking spot so my advice is if you really want to park in manhattan especially memorize the street cleaning schedule and uh, go there at least i would say 30 to 40 minutes before the cleaning ends so you can secure a spot and just sit in your car and wait that's the best way to get a parking spot in manhattan This place also has really good desserts and food. They have a uh, fresh crepe cake that they make here. And all the food they make here is awesome. I really like this. If you guys come here, try this. The apple crisp rose thing, shaped into a rose. It's good. It's like an apple turnover, that's a rose. So fellas, what you can do is instead of a bouquet of flowers, just get like a dozen of that, take it home to your lady. She's gonna love it. It's Rodrigo, manager. Hello, hello everyone. <laughs> he's, he's really cool, so if you come here, ask him what's good here. And this is the dessert extraordinaire. She makes all the desserts fresh and awesome. Thank you. Love your crepe cakes. Thank you very much. All right, time to hunger down and actually do some work. So today I need to finish two video edits. Um, one of them is on Hong Kong Wong Tong Noodle Soup, and that's my last food video from Asia. And that's gonna take me about two hours. And then I need to do another video for, um, 
uh, for the news channel. After that, I have to finish a script for Beyond Science and I need to figure out how to make homemade noodle soup. So after I finish all my video edits and script writing, I'm gonna go home and tonight I actually have to film uh, one more Beyond Science video. So a lot of work. And uh, before we start all that, we're gonna go ahead and eat a rose apple fritter. I managed to finish the video edit. I managed to finish writing the script. Uh, I managed to start a second script. So I think I'm about done here. It's about eight o'clock. My mind is basically fried. I'm starving. So I think yeah, Korean barbecue sounds pretty good right now. I've been here so long, my, my, like, my friend changed. I mean, it was Dan, no, it was Tian Tian. Hey, say hi, Tian Tian. Hi, guys. <laughs> when you're really hungry, you really want a lot of meat, there's only Korean barbecue and all you can eat Korean barbecue. Oh, spicy pork. I don't really love the beef intestine. Love the gizzards. Love the, love the pork belly. Gotta have some kimchi. If you guys ever come to Korean barbecue, I'm gonna teach you a secret. Take some hot pepper, uh, cumin, and salt and pepper. Sprinkle it directly on the meat. This works magic with beef, lamb, pork. Whatever meat you wanna cook, this is gonna make it taste so fragrant and delicious. Right here. Flip that over and splash some on the other side. You're gonna be able to smell this. It's gonna smell so aromatic. If you guys never tried gizzards before, try it. Korean barbecue, gizzards, do that whole thing I did with the pepper and the cumin. It's gonna be so awesome. Huh. Don't even need to dip that in any more sauce. Just what I sprinkle on the meat, tastes delicious. Also, if you wanna do a simple sauce, here's what you can do. Sesame oil. Um, salt and pepper that's it it's gonna taste awesome with your pork and with your beef mix it up at korean barbecues get your money's worth oh don't get any rice Tian Tian, you got like a bunch of rice that's gonna fill you up and then she got a bunch of noodles don't do that you like you need your stomach for the meat <laughs> this is the best right here korean beef ribs yay it's done oh. it's so tender and nice oh my god it's marinated so well Oh, I love this. Favorite meat item on my Korean barbecue. The only bad thing about eating Korean barbecue is uh, your clothes gonna stink like this for what a few days at least. Two days at least. There's a trick to that though. What's that? You can um, when you go in the shower, just uh -huh. hang your coat up. There, really? And the steam is gonna. Stink. Yeah, that works. It works. Can you freeze it or something? Maybe you can freeze it. Maybe, maybe. Oh That's my god. Wrong door. Oh. But you know what? I like the smell. Oh, it smells of food. What's not to love? Someone should make a perfume called Korean barbecue number five. I just walked in the door and I was about ready to record my final video of the day. And then a reminder on my phone said, meeting 10.30 p.m. Totally forgot I got a meeting today. Uh, it's with some people from uh, across the U.S. or different time zones. So I got to jump on that. So I'm thinking I'm going to push this video filming to tomorrow. So today... Uh, we recorded about 10 pieces of news. Um, we put out, edited, and published five pieces on the Double Chin News Channel. Uh, I finished one and a half scripts for, well, one script, one full script for Beyond Science. This is a very typical day of my uh, work. Basically starts around 9, and I finished today around uh, 8.39. And if I'm really late, I'll record videos all the way up to 2, 3 in the morning. I've done that. I don't like to do it because I sound like a moron and it, like a 10 minute script will take me hour, hour and a half to read and the editing is just a mess. Anywho, it's 1027. I gotta jump on this meeting. Um, starts at 1030, probably go for an hour. So yeah, that's a day of my life, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Thank you all so much for watching. See you later.